Good afternoon, everybody. Phil Simons and Rudy Weitza with Columbia Grain in your Friday afternoon weekly grain market recap. Well, I thought it was good to get uh, Rudy's take on a couple of things. So I wanted to kind of go over some things with Rudy and just see what's happening. So what's going on in uh, in your world, Rudy? Well, man, it's been just a wild time for the red wheat market. You know, it's been rather volatile lately and futures have just been on this strong downtrend uh, yeah. for just over about a month now mm -hmm. and like the wheat bears are really winning the war today so i think we can just take a look at uh, what happened this week first sure sure we're going to go ahead and navigate to our favorite website once again columbiagrain.com and over in the right hand corner we can go to producer solutions let's take a look at what the weekly futures ranges and changes were yeah without a doubt here on uh, kansas city east we had a we weekly range of 41 cents uh, weekly change was actually up eight which was good to see uh, on Chicago, a uh, weekly range of 25 cents, a weekly change down three cents, and Minneapolis Dees, a uh, weekly range of 31 cents, and again, uh, had a little slight increase, which is good to see, a weekly change of up 10 cents. Yeah. So yeah, certainly good to see maybe a little bit of life. I figured we'd kind of hone in on spring wheat today. We got a chart. Here. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, this is kind of showing just about the last 60 days or so you know you can see we had that recent high of 955 and since then we have just been blowing and going downwards to say yeah, the least, you know through harvest here and uh, we finally found some support down at that uh low of 756 from there you know we had a few a few uh bullish whispers this week between like russian drone stuff and also mm -hmm. some australian wheat production but I would really just call those whispers, you know, the, yeah. mark, the the chart is just so oversold right now. When you look at the, uh, the RSI and different aspects, right. it, it just feels like we're about due for a, rever a reversal and that futures do want to go higher, but man, just the news to make that happen has oh, yeah. really been lacking to say the least. Yeah, yeah. definitely. A lot of squiggly lines in here. Yeah. A lot going up and a lot going down. Uh, you know, as, as far as cash markets today, uh, of course, harvest is going on. The, the big topic has been yields and protein. You know, yields certainly been a little bit better than people thought, whereas mm -hmm. protein maybe been a little bit lower than people thought. Yeah. So yeah. kind of a give and take situation, you know. And then on top of that, it seems like mills are relatively covered on the nearby. Farmers haven't been super active sellers. And then exporters feel relatively covered, kind sure. of looking looking forward to the future. Yeah. yeah. I think we've also got a slide here on exports on as export. well. Yeah, I mean, it's a good transition because we did have – the export sales come out here today uh, as opposed to yesterday because we did have a holiday on Monday. But really, when we do look at the, the export sales with where we are currently, and, you know, in particular, if we look at winter wheat, hard red winter wheat, we can see that the current estimates from the USDA uh, for this marketing year are 165 million bushels. And the marketing sales to date, year to date, are at 53 million bushels, which is a pretty, it's basically half of where we were last year at 106 million sure. at this time. Right. And it's been, it's been tough too. Like we're at a point where we're importing wheat, you know, right. and from different countries just because it's so much cheaper. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. So it's definitely something to continue to monitor as we go forward in terms of, you know, what do we expect to see from both the futures and the cash prices as we go, go forward? Sure. But, you know, when you look at spring wheat as well, uh, it is pretty well on par with where we were last year, you know, at yeah. this time. So that's 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 good to see. Uh, and you scroll over a little bit and you look at white wheat, kind of similar to winter wheat, but not as drastic. You know, we are down a little bit from where we were last year. Last year, we were pegged at 83 million. Uh, bushels um, marketing year to date this year we're at 57 you know so we're definitely down from where we had been sure. uh, well, last year yeah i'll tell you on the spring wheat too like you know the one thing we do kind of have going for us right now is that we're actually very competitive with with the canadians sure. right at this time you know certainly they've been uh had a bit of a drought stricken crop and they're still kind of trying to get their feet under them yeah. to see where they're at before things go farther but we're relatively competitive with canada today. yeah so yeah. it just depends if the business comes mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i figured we'd also just take a real quick look at uh, how spring wheat harvested is coming along you know we made great progress this past week so south dakota is just about finished and then see montana and minnesota at 85 percent. i'd say probably by monday here when the next report comes out we're probably about finished yeah and then uh as far as north dakota you know it's been slow going been a little yeah. bit of rain uh this last little bit of the of the crop out there you know we're a little concerned about quality issues just with it being so late mm -hmm. and uh the rain, some rain on it yeah it could have some sprout color could wash off but uh i would say again people are going to get pretty hard to it this weekend some yeah. nice days ahead of us so i'd yeah. say by monday we should certainly be in the 80 percent range no for sure so, yeah we should, should see that for sure so uh you know i don't 
don't have a ton more, you know, markets are relatively quiet right now. They have but, been pretty flat. But, so, I mean, when we look at everything that's been going on, you know, the last couple of weeks to about a month now, you know, if you're a grower, Rudy, and if you're sitting in their shoes right now, if you're a producer, looking at the market, what would you look at doing right now? Man, when you look at that chart, it's a tough situation. Yeah. Right? You know, you mm -hmm. got wheat in the bin. You probably had a better crop than you thought. Like, mm -hmm. that's what we're seeing in North Dakota. You got your wheat in the bin. You're looking at the chart. You're saying, man... I got a lot of wheat to sell. Might need a little bit of cash flow, but I don't really want to sell it today at this price. I'd probably suggest just looking at good till canceled offers. Yeah. It's good to do those in like 5,000 bushel increments. So the way I like to look at it is if you put in an offer, uh, you're obviously going to do it at a price that you like or you want to sell or that's good for you, yeah. right? Oh, for sure. And if that offer gets booked, right, and the market goes higher, that's great because you booked a price you wanted to sell. Mm -hmm. And now you have the opportunity to sell more for a better price, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And if that offer gets booked and then the market gets lower, you did a great job by taking risk off the table, yep. right? So yeah. uh, lots of different ways to do that. I, I think the way of just scaling up offers. Scale is, up seller. Yeah. It's a good way to go. Great way to go right yeah, Absolutely. Now. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Rudy. Really do yeah. appreciate it. It was a great rundown in terms of what, what's been going on and what do we anticipate to see going forward. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We're going to wrap everything up for the weekend. You know, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week. And remember, the first five letters of broker spell broke. <laughs> have a great weekend, everybody. Talk with you next week.